All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. So here's the proud rep of the 209, Stockton, California zone, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter, Nate Diaz. Had a lot of big moments in the UFC, but of course none bigger than the submission win over Conor McGregor at UFC 196. And now the big paydays have started to follow, rightfully so, for a guy who has one of the bigger fan bases of anyone on this UFC roster. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, darse, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. McGregor is 29, Diaz is 32. He is three inches taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden in New York City. <clears throat> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz! And now, see the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna go Let's down go right now. All right, we are underway here at the famed Madison Square Garden right in New York City. Tags him. Why 
Lined it up on the right there to no avail. Joe, nice head movement there to slip that right hand. Caught him with a punch. That one hurt. Kick blocked there, Joe. Nice. Just missed with that right hand. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Pretty good jab there, Joe. Missed with that right hand. Lands a kick to the leg. That's a That's hard hook. shot is true. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Hurt him with that uppercut. Just missed with the straight left hand. Finds his range with the jab. Just missed with the huge kick. And he connects there. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. And he connects with the punch. Good shots by the champion. All right, then a left. Some nice back and forth action here. Strong jab by Nate. Good defense there. Missed with that attempt. That punch will work right through the guard. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Diaz gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Hit him with the jab. Diaz's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. And he's up. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Nice. And mixing it up beautifully. Strong straight left there. Once again establishing the jab here. Slips the punch nicely there. And he lands it to the leg. These guys are just standing in front of each other and throwing bombs. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. Effective strike there by Diaz. Right hand upstairs. Oh! oh. He's rocked. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh! McGregor going for the body. Missed with that kick. These guys are swinging. Oh, a huge block there. How about that shim? Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Diaz. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Eats a, ni a nice right hand. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. And a nice jab. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, huge block. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Conor McGregor with some nasty body shots. That is spot on, Joe. 10 seconds now in round one. Good right hand landed by Diaz. Second round, straight ahead.
Here's a huge punch that stuns. And there's a kick to the body. Perfectly placed strike here, lands on target. Incredible highlights in that round. Brittany Palmer with us. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go. All right, round two. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. And a nice uppercut. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Head kick lands Joe. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Well, no one's going to accuse him of being a headhunter here tonight. You see the stats bottom of your screen in terms of the body strikes landed, and those are really starting to pile up now. And, Joe, you got to think a lot of damage has been done as well, so perhaps you get an attritive knockout here late in the fight. We'll see, but the body work has been on point here tonight. Absolutely. Oh, and he can... That oh, one appeared to stun him. This could be it right here. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on and keep his title. Oh! Oh, huge shot there. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Nice one-two there. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. I need you to tie up with him, tie up with him. Slightly deflected. Let's go. With him. Just over three minutes to go in round two. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. And they move out of the clinch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, he got tagged there. That one hurt. Looking for the counter right now. No, he's, he's throwing some hard shots now. Oh, he got cracked. Just misses there with the left. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, once again, he gets clipped up top, Joe, and again, he continues to show that vulnerability, leaning into his opponent's offense. Got to figure out a way to make the adjustments, change up the tempo, and get that head off the center line. And the kick lands. Clean jab. Oh, man. Slits her back. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. How about that shin? Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Nice punch by McGregor. Really swung. Whoa! He hurt him. He's definitely rocked. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. He transitions to the tie clinch. 
close quarters for a while. Now they separate. Oh, and he continues to snap off these jabs. Good way to keep Whoa. his opponent at distance. He's stumbling. Oh, he might be out. Tested early. Oh! Big, Big body shot. shot. Body. Two shots there. Nice jab. All right, round three coming up next. All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. Really, really bad here. You got to think they're going to, at the very least, call the doctor in. And if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. Here we see an excellent kick. Connects flush with perfect timing. Some really well-placed strikes on display in that round. It's okay. We expected... Ariane Celeste is with us. Are you ready? You ready? Let's Here go. we go, third round of this championship fight. Now starting off. Oh, wow. He's got him hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! Powerful oh. left hand. Wow! He is in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Watch the shot, Joe. Wham! The right and the left behind it. Oh, big shot by Connor. McGregor with more body shots. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just out of range with that right hand. The kick gets through. That's again the experience. Constantly a moving target. Effective punch there by McGregor. The cut on his nose is starting to pour blood. Let's go. Clinch with him now. Clinch and recompose. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the ball. Oh, oh you heard it. Oh, very nice. Huge uppercut misses. Oh! Cut to the head, instead it's blocked by Diaz. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Right hand, then a left. Looking to land the right just out of range. Yeah, it's these are, what did you say about my mother punches? These are some bombs he is throwing. Now a right hand. Oh, no. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. This could be it. Big shots. The left hook hits home. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, he is starting. Oh, he's tagged him with the left. He's got him right here. Oh, he might be out. Hard uppercut to the head. Oh, straight right. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Diaz is all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt oh. something fierce tomorrow. Ooh. He's in trouble right now. He's hurt! Oh. What a wild fight! Straight punch on the button, got the win. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And here we see the stunning turn of events that led to our new champion. Here's the shot that lands. Boom! And we have a new champion.
absolutely spectacular knockout. And let's look at that again from another angle. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 53 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class.